What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Jamal Charlo. Get this Jamal Charlo arrested for allegedly stealing a car from a waitress inside a bar dispute. Jamal Charlo has been arrested after cops say the boxing superstar melted down at a bar and stole money from a waitress. TMZ Sports has learned the alleged incident all went down in San Antonio on July 16th, the day before Charlo's brother, Jermail Charlo, fought Brian Castaño to a draw at the AT&T Center. Wow. According to police documents, Jamal was with a large party at the Texas bar when the waitress presented the bill or presented the group with the bill. In the docks, cops say Jamal handed over his credit card and ID, but the card was declined despite three attempts to run it. When the waitress came back to Jamal asking for another form of payment, the 31-year-old allegedly snapped. Police say surveillance video shows Jamal being very animated and appearing to be upset and yelling at the waitress and two other managers on the scene. In the video, According to the cops, Jamal can then be seen taking away two bill collection binders from the waitress and stealing everything from inside them. Cops say one of the binders had Jamal's ID in it, while the other had cash payment made by other made by other customer that the waitress had been serving previously in that night. In the docks, cops say waitress, wait, witnesses claim Jamal then told the bar employer, I will fuck you up. Oh, wow. And cops say Jamal and his crew then stormed out of the bar, pushing their way past the employees, and then got into a limousine bus and left. In the docks, the waitress told cops she suffered a minor, minor leg injury while Jamal's crew ran in to her while leaving the bar. Arrest warrants were ultimately issued for Jamal over the incident and were told that the fighter turned himself in to the authorities on Wednesday night. We're told Jamal is already in the process of posting bond. Wow. Uh, let me counterpunch. I think that incident could have easily been handled another way. You know, um, depending on how big the bill was, I think this had a matter to do with um, pride. You know, you have Jamal Charlo. Obviously, the man has the money. It's just, I think, certain credit cards, especially when you go outside of uh, certain areas, because <coughs> he's from Houston, that card that he had might had some security restrictions on it that didn't allow him to make a huge purchase or a purchase over a reasonable limit outside of certain boundaries, okay? Mine's, mine was like that. At certain times, my card may decline, and I know I have money on it, but what happens, they'll shoot you a text like saying, hey, is this really you? If this is really you, text back by saying yes or no or whatever so we'll know that there's no fraud. Obviously, I think, this is what I believe, that him and his crew, or the group he was with, was drinking, and they got intoxicated, and then when the bill came, he was with his peers, or with his entourage, and for shit to decline, it's quite embarrassing. So since it was embarrassing, I feel that he might have snapped, because he knew, I know I have the money for it, why are y'all messing with me, you need to run it back, but he overreacted. You know, it's, honestly, that's Jamal Charlo. That sounds like something Jamal would do or Adrian Broner would do. Not really Jamal, because Jamal is normally the low-key laid back with the bigger one. You know, so I just, that's why I'm assuming that they had something to drink. They were at a bar, you know what I mean? And you and you leave in a, a, a limousine bus. So that tells you, like, you were with a group of people. What he should have done was contacted the credit card company then okay and handled that then or came with another form of payment you know but that's what happens when 
a lot of people follow you and most of the money that you spend is on other people. That's your entourage. You know, entourages are expensive people. You have to pay for these guys, or these people rather. So, you know, I think he felt embarrassed. I think he felt like, hey, you know, this lady was messing with me or whatever, I have the money. You don't know who I am. That type of shit went down. And therefore he snapped and took the lady shit without thinking, you know, and there you go. But of course these places have cameras. That's why he's in jail right now, trying to get out right now when he could have easily called the bank or whatever the credit card company and, you know, uh, approved that particular uh, charge because it might, it had to probably be eight, nine hundred to a thousand dollars, maybe, maybe more than that. <clears throat> but I think, you know, uh, Jamal felt disrespected because it was, and then, you know, if you ever been on a date and your card is declined, that's some embarrassing shit. And embarrassment, and embarrassing people do further embarrassing things. Okay. But anyway, that's my counterpunch on that. I hope the man gets out. I hope he's able to pay with not any drama. I don't think it's really nothing far, you know, paying a fine and then paying the lady his money back. The problem he will come into is the lady that said she damaged her leg. And when the lady finds out, oh shit, this is a boxer that makes hundreds of thousands of dollars per fight, she might be able to get her a lump sum of cash. You know what I mean? So that happens when you get targeted or you get yourself in the situations that you have no damn reason being in. But anyway, that's my counterpunch on Jamal Charlo. You guys tell me what you think about him going to jail. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.